Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this video is about using Microsoft OneDrive photos on a Windows 10 machine with the native Photos app. Did you know that if you take photos with your phone and back it up to OneDrive, like I do, you can now go to your Windows 10 computer and use the Photos app. What is the Photos app? Well, on the main Windows 10 screen here, you should have a tile called Photos, but you can also find it in the alphabetical list, or you can just search for Photos, and there it is, the Photos app open that up and we see the photos that I just took with my phone these little mermaids and the dragon shots as well as everything else that I have taken with that phone in the last in with any cell phone in the last few years because I have been backing up to OneDrive if that doesn't happen for you, if you open OneDrive and you don't see photos that you know have been backed up, then there's probably a setting you need to change. The three dots in the upper right, settings. Pictures can be coming from a local file folder, or here is the setting, show my cloud only content from OneDrive. If I turn that off and go back to photos, we will not see the mermaid and the dragon. Turn it on. There, up at the top. But what do you need to see these? You need an internet connection because this photo, I open it up and notice I can, I can do editing to it. I can rotate it, I can delete it. This is a full featured photo editing program. But if we take a look at the file info, we'll see that this photo is in OneDrive on the cloud only. It is not on the device. I think that's fabulous. I don't want to take up space on my device if I can work with the photo right here. However, if you are someone who does want a copy of the photo physically on your device, on your computer's hard drive, then there's another setting for that. This little icon right here, the two-tone cloud, is the OneDrive program. I click on that and go to Settings and folders you choose will be available on this PC. Choose folders. All of OneDrive content is in the cloud. Then you have the choice. Anything that has a check mark can be on your computer. And we would be looking for one called Pictures. There is my folder of pictures, 104 gigabytes. No, I don't want that on my computer. But if you do, you can check the box. Even if you do check the box, however, there is one more thing to know. Because OneDrive has this type of file called Files on Demand. And if you have that setting on, then when you ask for the pictures folder, it's just going to give you the thumbnails and not really the full pictures. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say I click this box for 2015 April. It's less than three megabytes. I'm good with that. And I click OK. And I click OK again. Now when I go to my files and folders and under my directory and OneDrive, I will now see 2015 April. But notice this little blue cloud here. That means that these files in this folder are available when online only. So if I open it up, I will see that each of these has a little blue cloud. I see the thumbnails, but if I turn off Wi-Fi, and I try to open one of these pictures, 
it tells me make sure you're connected to the internet then try again therefore if you want them actually downloaded you need to go into the settings of that folder and say always keep on this device then when you're on when your Wi-Fi is connected the files will start downloading when you see the green check mark it means they're there